just in the process of tuning the Super Dave Ensemble. I'm pretty certain the only reason you watch my silly videos is the SDE. Maybe it's the hats, I don't know, but simply put, the Super Dave Ensemble is the most reliable forecast of snowfall in the Whistler Alpine. I know it because I verify the forecasts, you know it because you've seen it in practice and develop trust. For newbies to these videos, the Super Dave Ensemble leverages the objective power of multiple weather models, ten of them to be specific. The models have been chosen after I've given myself a right fine headache and gone blind monitoring their performance and biases in pig alley snowstorms using spreadsheets like this. I doubt there's anyone on the planet who gives a bigger shit about the 6 a.m. snow stake measurement than yours truly. Like you, I'm a freak about fresh, so I do it. The value added is immense, unique, and free. You're very welcome. But to maintain reliability in an ever-changing model world, an ensemble needs an annual update. That's because some models may have some updated physical schemes since we last spoke. These new schemes, instituted ostensibly to improve model forecasts, can actually have the opposite effect in practice. How does that happen? Here's how. The most recent version of Environment Canada's high-resolution model scored worse on precipitation in BC compared to the previous version. Now, you're asking, why would Environment Canada go ahead and implement such a model? And the answer is, because the precipitation scores with the newer version were better everywhere else in the country. Life really is unfair, so I deal with it. All for you, my customer. Cheers, and powder out.